Hey guys, Trick Happy John coming at you with another Waking Chaos Area video. Today's video is going to be a pretty brief one. We are going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the updates that are coming to the game. There's a lot of teasing going on. There's a lot of different uh, potential content that's going to be new releases. And there's also some content that we already have that I want to touch on and kind of show you uh, what we were able to figure out on it. So as you guys are aware, we have had a lot of new stuff come out in the game. Now, with that being said, that means there's going to be a lot of more stuff that's going to be coming out. And I, we want to put a few things into perspective. That's that's kind of the purpose of today's video. Let's go ahead and let's pull up what we currently have. So in the current D Discord release, you guys should be able to see right here uh, over on the uh, the right rightish side of the of the screen. Uh, you know what here let me move it we'll move it even more over there that way you can you guys can really see it we'll blow it up we'll drag her over perfect okay this pirate battle now this was teased and i talked about it in one video where this is going to be like a guild versus environment we don't have a whole lot of information on this uh however we know it's going to be some sort of an interactive property within the game that's going to allow us to work together as a guild to complete some sort of event or target area now this could be good or bad. Uh, I'm going to take this as a win versus a, uh, an L, okay? So that's what we're going to start with. Now, the next thing that they kind of talked about was this real-time arena. Now, real-time arena, I, I feel like real-time arena has so much potential, right? Now, does that mean it's going to be the end-all, be-all for the game? Does that mean arena is going to be coming back? It's going to be the most popular thing? not really and the reason why i say that is because there's not a good diversity so far in the uh the, the champion pool to have really a very flexible meta so to speak if that makes sense now with the introdu introduction of all these new characters we may see a meta change here very soon because we've been seeing characters that are introducing new debuffs uh have new synergies have new uh new stats right those little things in the game are slowly going to build and progress the game. Now, I feel like this is probably not the right time to introduce real time arena. Personally, I, I feel like this would be a later on down the road. But the takeaway here is we literally are introducing real time arena. The game hasn't been out for a year yet. It's only been out since th Thanksgiving last year. And that was uh, when I say last year, I mean, 2021 for anyone who's watching this uh, in the future. But the game hasn't been out for that long, not long enough to really require a real time arena. I think really, really what we need to be working on is quality of life, some sort of other content, uh, some other mechanic in the game to really get us more involved, to get the, 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 the whales more involved, playing more often. Like, I know I spend a lot myself. The, the community helps me spend a lot of money. I do greatly appreciate my community. They've been very, very nice and supportive of me playing the game. Uh, if you ever want to come out and support, watch, laugh, cry, you know, we do it all on stream. Come watch me on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Trigger Happy John. Uh, I stream Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Always, always welcome to come out, have a drink, uh, laugh, cry, maybe cry a little bit more at, at, at me, not you. <laughs> but um, that's the thing is uh, the game has been out too long. The community has been growing for the game. Real time arena, I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's. I don't think we're at the point now where it's like, yeah, let's do real time, time arena. This is going to be sweet. Uh, I think it's going to be good. I feel like the devs have done a really good job of pushing out good content for us and definitely making sure that we uh, we have consistent content, right? But I feel like right now it's just not the time. However, let's go ahead and talk about something they did release that I feel like was a, a strong win. So let's talk about it. So if we pull it up, I'm sure you guys have all noticed that your dungeons look just a wee bit different right they look just a wee bit different so if you go over here we have roaring tulpa now this now has a health stage and health stage two. Oh. uh we have ash uh so far i've been able to do ash and i've been able to do queen of tides so we we did this on stream actually we i wanted to do this as a community so we actually talked about it on stream we kind of theory crafted we thought about it uh and then we pushed it now here's my problem these are great. The drop rates are better. They drop, I think, only six star gear, which is great, right? You, you last thing you want to do is waste 12 energy on 12 and get a bunch of five star gear because five star gear is trash. Like you, you will not use it. Once you hit that end game, five star gear is no longer viable. It does not matter what the stats it has. 
you're not going to use it you're only going to use six star gear and really you're not even going to use six star blue you're going to use six six star purple and up uh, that's basically what I've, i'm to the point now where that's the only gear i'm keeping and i'm sure a lot of you are getting close to the same way now this only drops five and six star notice that hell two says it only drops six star this is awesome so this right here is going to be the the creme de la creme this guarantees you your six star now this also guarantees you a lot of headaches <laughs> we'll put it that way so we did do it we were able to figure it out on stream we had fun with it we uh this is the team we used we used uh Sant santis brand william nathalia now i used the same exact team on um the stage uh back before i figured out the ice wolf comp with andy um so i knew this team should work i hoped it would work and it took a little bit of tweaking with nathalia but the rest of it was fine it works pretty well william gives you that extra attack boost for your nathalia as well as that counter attack that you really really need he also helps maintain the defensive down overall it was a pretty good win i didn't take a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of headache to really sort this one out however the one i do want to talk about is queen of the tides now this one this one was uh it was a little bit of a pain so i first thought i wanted to try to use desmond right i thought desmond would be perfect in here i thought let's pair hacker and santis desmond blackhorn together and and run it the problem is is we couldn't make it to the last wave the minions took us out i feel like had we made it to the last wave with the desmond team i think it would have worked i think it would have worked brilliantly because desmond would just proc so much play on the boss that it knock her out now could i have upped the stats on my gear maybe maybe but we're running out of stats we're running out of charms right now and unfortunately this is as best we could do so let's go ahead and show you what i did end up running for queen of the tides so my black horn we'll pull him up now this is my black horn stats more this is his health he currently has twenty-eight thousand health so almost 2300 defense speed is 158 and his focus is at only at 20 percent, which is kind of low uh, i should get that up so that way he's more reliable on his uh attack down and his resistance is at 55 percent. those are the stats to really notice moving on i have a vera now my vera is going to be kind of hard to keep compete with guys so don't feel bad if you can't compete i understand i have been farming a lot of avarice gear so do not feel bad like i said she's in a full avarice set here and she's pretty good we're at 3500 attack 12k d uh, 12k hp a thousand almost one 1100 defense 172 speed that's pretty fast crit rate is 100.5 and crit damage is at 296 now keep in mind she's an avarice set so that's really she's about 300 and what is that 344 percent damage uh crit damage that's quite a bit of damage she's she's definitely throwing out the dps that's for sure or the deeps as we like to call it all right moving on we have santis now santis is the same santis i've used this whole time i haven't really changed her much at all uh she is currently sitting at 19k hp 1500 defense 166 speed 79 percent focus some resistance and precision um not too off the wall if we look at her what she's got on her she she has a, a curse set that can proc we don't really need it uh really i could change that revival would probably be better in this situation but for now you know it is what it is we'll take it uh and then last but not least we have hacker now hacker took a little finessing uh, so what I figured out on my Queen of Tides team is Hacker needed to go before um, before Avera. And I think he actually goes before Blackhorn. So let's look at his speed. So his speed is 147. Nope, I think he goes right after Blackhorn, actually. I think I tried to get him to go uh, before Blackhorn, and it just did not work out. But uh, let's, try, let's see. Yep, did not work out for me. But I did really, really want Hacker to get go before, and it just didn't happen, unfortunately. But it still somehow wins. Uh, I think it's just a little, a little bit dicey there for a minute because they lose a lot of HP. His ultimate being able to proc sooner rather than later would help a lot. That, that's basically what I'm getting at here, guys. But his stats are as follows: we have eighteen thousand, almost nineteen thousand HP, thirty-four hundred defense, which is pretty good. Uh, speeds at one forty-seven. It could get a little faster and the focus is at 85 percent with resistance now the thing to note here is the focus this is what i was working on as well as the speed while trying to maintain the defense of at least three grand minimum 
Now, if I go into the gear, you will see it's all broken. He does not have a full set of anything. Ideally, I really, really wanted him in like a uh, dragon scale set or even in a revival set. That would have been even better. But unfortunately, to get the stats I needed to make this work, this is what I had to work with. And unfortunately, it is what it is. We were unable to complete the set. But do not fear, it worked out just fine. So we were able to take this team here and we ran Queen of Tides pretty consistently. Uh, it's not the best. It's definitely not the uh, <laughs> most glorious thing in the world. But we can go ahead and run it. Uh, you know what? And we'll, we can show it. Uh, we'll uh, we'll do a run here and then we'll uh, pull up the time for it. Actually, you know what? We're going to let's back out of this. So pro trip. Pro trip. Pro tip, guys. If you would like to time a one run battle, hit multi battle. Go in a one send it and this will also help you skip your animations so i didn't know if you guys knew that or not but you're welcome for those who didn't know and uh yeah we're, we're still going to target the right ad and then the center boss and we'll be right back when this run has completed all right well we're back i didn't want to i didn't want to force you guys to watch that that long long run so for those of you who were unaware uh beforehand i was running about a two minute comp on queen of tides and this is with the Holon comp for for stage 12 let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see me do a video on the Holland's comp and what the gear requirements were. I pretty much had those dialed in, but uh, obviously I'm not going to be doing that anymore now that we have Hell 1 and Hell 2. Hell 2 in a 6 minutes and uh, 20 seconds, we'll call it. I was able to win this fight. That's not terrible, and it's guaranteed 6-star gear. So that eliminates the odds. I think the drop rates before were pretty, they were okay for 12. So this one, this way it definitely guarantees me only six star gear. I will definitely play with this. We will run a lot of these runs overnight. Uh, you know, we'll do 10 battles. We'll see what we get after 10 battles because that's an hour of runtime at six minutes. Uh, and then all day, all day through work, I will definitely be running these and maybe we'll make a spreadsheet. We'll figure out what the drop rates actually are to see if it's worth it to run on this or if it's going to be worth it to run on stage 12. But nonetheless, this is all new content, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's a lot harder. So do not fret if you cannot beat it. I think they the reason why they brought us this content is because they want to see us uh, do something that's not as easy. We pretty much had the meta already dialed in and now they're trying to change it. Now, the other thing is, is I still cannot do Witch of the Winds or Gemini Dragon. Uh, I'm going to start working on them, though, because I need Rebel Set. We're almost done with the Void Tower. I got Floor 90. Uh, we're going to be doing the rest of this uh, starting tomorrow and Saturday. I'm really going to go super hard on this Void Tower. We're going to get it done. I want to see 100% clear. But I need Rebel Set would super de duper help me out here. And unfortunately, I don't have it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know which comments. And, blah, blah, blah. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the new content and everything else that's coming to the game. How do you feel about it? Obviously, you heard what, how I felt about it, and I don't think Live Action Arena is the call, but I think they are making up for it a little bit with uh, the extra content they're adding to the game. So let me know down in the comments below what you think. And as always, thank you so much for subscribing, watching, and liking this video because it helps me out tremendously, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.